Panama is a global hotspot for biodiversity and is particularly an important country to study jaguars because it comprises the narrow isthmus linking jaguar populations from Mexico with populations in South America. On March 2015, members of Panama Wildlife Conservation and the Institute for Wildlife Studies traveled to El Cope National Park to begin a study of the jaguars and their prey. El Cope National Park lies in the central part of the Cochle province, covering 25,000 hectares. This national park was created in 1986 and protects several important hydrographic basins flowing into the Pacific and the Caribbean. Our team of scientists spent four days in El Cope setting up 30 camera traps for our first large-scale wildlife surveillance project. On day one, we followed an unmarked trail. It was very windy and cloudy as this park is about a thousand meters above the sea level. These remote cameras have an infrared beam that takes a photo when the beam detects heat from a passing animal and contains a memory card to store thousands of photographs. During six months, researchers and support staff will check the cameras at about 45 days interval to replace with fresh memory cards if needed. We walked through the dense jungle for several hours and placed each camera 500 meters apart from each other. Trekking was very hard, but we were determined to complete the installation of at least eight cameras a day as our aim was to obtain images like this one, showing a lowland paca crossing a stream at night. Because of the high altitude, there is a lot of rain in the park, allowing the formation of several waterfalls all year round. The position of each camera was determined using a GPS to mark accurately our location. On day two, our team traveled to the isolated monkey trail. After placing a couple of cameras, we had to stop as the tropical rain fell on top of us. Inside the park, the annual rainfall varies from 2 meters on the Pacific side and 4 meters on the Caribbean side. That is a lot of rain. This is a view from the mountain ridge that our team walked along inside the park. On our final day, the tiredness was evident in all of us. More cameras were installed in the strategic places where jaguar footprints were spotted, hoping to obtain interesting footage from this amazing animal. These remote cameras are used to record photos and estimate abundance and distribution of jaguars in El Cope. Cameras were programmed to take photographs 24 hours a day for 6 months. Previous research has demonstrated remote cameras are successful at detecting jaguars, despite the cryptic behavior, large home range and low density, which can make monitoring their population difficult. Jaguars are endangered carnivores in Panama but little is known about how or where this enigmatic feline use tropical forests, particularly in the face of increasing human development and their impact on its prey. This research will collect essential information to provide the Panamanian government's jaguar conservation efforts and data to initiate a future study using radio tracking colors on jaguars to understand their movements and habitat use in El Cope. This study will provide opportunities to involve and educate local people and El Cope visitors on jaguar conservation 